Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days or whenever it resonates, okay? So, what do we have for Virgo? So, what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh, we just had three cards fall out. What are they? Gong! An exciting event, Virgo. We have an exciting event here. Mmm. Seahorse. Family matters. May have something to do with your family. Forest. Muddled. Unclear thinking. So there's some sort of darkness here. It's hard to see through a forest. You may have to really look hard. Uh, concentrate take a time out there's going to be an event it probably has to do with a family situation by the looks of things interesting I picked that I had this last time for my last reading but you're on the bottom but anyhow, what do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? Next seven days. It's a big, huge pile. We don't want that. What do we have for Virgo? Hmm. Children are a factor. That definitely has to do with family if children are a factor. Oh, I'm going to show you what's on the bottom. News of legalities. Not good. I hate that shit. All right, what else we got? Um, children are a factor. There's going to be an event. Hmm. Capricorn. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. Could be a family situation. You know, maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's with one of your siblings or one of your children. One more card. Libra. Could be dealing with a Libra. Capricorn, Libra, children, family matters. There's going to be an event. Legal matters for sure. Because Libra is a card of legal matters and we have that in the blue deck. So something about legalities. Either way, everything is going to turn out as it should. It may just be somebody that's in your circle that is, I don't know. I don't know. What do we got? What do we got for Virgo? Oh, I got two. Seven of coins and five of wands. I don't know if we got somebody here that's going to, has some sort of addictions. I mean, this could be like... An overdose, I don't know, the moon is like addictions, out of control, paranoid, uh, all is not as it seems. It could have an absent mother here, it may have something to do with a mother. I don't know why, but I felt that I needed to say that. Anyhow, seven of coins, seven of coins, seven of wands, seven of coins, why did I say seven of wands? I was looking at the five of wands. Seven of Coins is about investment. We have somebody here that is thinking. Thinking about if it's worth it. I feel like you're going to be receiving an offer. You know, and you're going to be thinking about whether it's worth it or not. Should I invest in this? Should I not? Is it worth it? I feel like... This has something to do with a store of some sort. 
an opportunity. I don't know if some of you work at a store or has something to do with the store, thinking a lot, thinking about what you should invest in, what you shouldn't invest in. Is this successful? Is this gonna work out? What should I do? So yeah, I feel like this is about investment. I think what's gonna, what I feel is that you're gonna be receiving an offer and you're gonna be thinking, is it worth it? Is it worth this? Should I invest in this or not? Five of Wands, we have a competition here. This is tug of war, okay, this is a battle of some sort. This is, we definitely have some sort of argument or, or a need to compete, this is competition. Um, so there's competition, there's, well it looks like it's competition, it's, it's uh, wanting to win, there's some sort of competition here. Somebody's also being egged on, they're being egged on. I feel like we have a fight, we have an argument here. Somebody's picking a fight, they're, and it's like they're pushing somebody. There's like peer pressure or something, causing problems, pettiness, a childish behavior, wanting to win. Somebody is being egged on, acting like children. We have a couple people that are acting like children, wanting to prove themselves, wanting somebody wants to prove their strength. There's some stiff competition here. We have somebody here that is very petty, very childish. Get prepared for some drama. We got somebody here trying to cause problems. Children are a factor. Could be fighting about over children, fighting about children. Definitely going to be dealing with some competition this week. You are. There's games being played. So do you want to keep investing in this or not? Do you want to keep playing with these people? You're dealing with somebody that thrives on drama and competition. You know, maybe, maybe you don't know. Maybe you don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't know. Ten of Pentacles, right in the middle. So that's your signifier card, which, card, which is abundance, happy home, comfortable home. You have a lot of you have you have um, long term abundance here. An, an opportunity for abundance. Some of you may be moving into a new home, or you're securing a new home, or you have a very comfortable home. This is about your home. It's about your family. It definitely is about family. I got sneeze coming. Five of Wands reversed. Other person. Hangman reversed. I got sneeze coming. Sun card reversed. Ooh, you're dealing with somebody that is in a dark place. They have a big ego. A huge ego with the high, with the hangman reversed. This person is refusing to budge. They're refusing to change. They're struggling to let go. They will not look at things from a new perspective. This person is not growing. They're not, they're not feeding. Or there's a lack of growth. It may have something to do with children. Uh, okay, let's get your side. Um, two of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune reverse. Horrendous loss. There is some sort of loss here. Two of Swords ignored something has been ignored four of pentacles okay so you i don't know if something has been blocked there's been some sort of denial this is a, a setback there's been a delay there's been a delay in in you receiving something 
but I feel like you've been working on your security, you've been working on your stability, you've been saving, you've been uh, holding on to your money, holding on to your security, really, really working hard with the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you have a lot to offer. I feel like uh, there's something in, there's some sort of security within you. You are very secure at this time. I feel like uh, you've definitely been, I don't know if you guys have been really holding on to your money, saving your money, focused on your job. I mean, the four of pentacles reverse is like holding on. It's, it's and you know, that's in your section. It's like holding on to your stability, holding on to your security. You're very secure. You're very stable. You've reached a point where, you know, you're secure with yourself and you're secure with, with who you are and it maybe even in your job. This is security. It's, it is security. I think that your hard work has paid off, but there's been, there's been some, there is some sort of setback here. You have some sort of security. You've earned it. You've earned it. You have, you have what you need. Okay. You have what you need. But this, this wheel of fortune reverse, that's in your emotional state. That's a setback. It's a, it's a delay. It is, it is a, it, I don't know if there's some sort of loss here. It could be, you know, something that is coming back around that was missed. It feels like it was ignored in the past. It's coming back around to be dealt with now may have to do with a child. You may have to think, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Because it's like, is it worth investing in this or not? What should I do? Should I get myself involved in this drama? <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is about family matters. It really is. We have the family matters card. It's like inheritance or family money or comfortable home or um, children, family, home, abundance, long-term security. Financial success. having plenty 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 you have something that is very abundant it's clear the signifier card is the ten of pentacles that is prosperity it is abundance it's uh, stability it's the ultimate stability I don't know if you guys are getting something. Maybe it's something handing, handed down to you. It could be some sort of money handed down or a home that is handed down or it could be an increase of money. Maybe it's a, a raise or it's a starting your own business or some sort of increase here. There is... Something to do with the family. Whoever you are dealing with, it feels like they're giving up. They've been holding on. They've been extremely stubborn. They've been refusing to change. This person, the five of wands reverse. This is like, and then we had it upright. This person is, whoever you're dealing with has really been struggling. The five of wands and the hey man upright reverse is definitely struggling. Something, somebody may be even struggling mentally. There could even be some paranoia here. We do have a dark place. We have depression, the sun reversed, and then depression, and then we have the muddled, unclear thinking. I feel like you're dealing with, it could be a Leo, could be a Pisces. <laughs> there is somebody here that probably has some sort of addictions. I do, we did have the moon as well. So extreme addictions. This person is unwilling to change with the hangman reversed. They are unwilling to change. This is, this is like a change in a living situation. I do believe there's a change in a living situation. The Wheel of Fortune reversed, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Hangman. That's one lineup. So there's a change in a living situation. I feel like you have been waiting. You've been saving. You've been uh, working on yourself. 
Maybe some of you are purchasing a home, you know, or you've been waiting for that apartment or you've been waiting for something to come around. There's been a delay. There's, we're about to have a change. Okay. Things are about to change, but whoever you're dealing with, I feel like this, you're dealing with somebody that will never change. This person is very stubborn. They're highly egotistical. They're hiding some sort of addiction. They are. Know that they are. There's a there's relationship problems. There's there's a disillusionment with the sun card reversed. There's some sort of neglect here. Somebody's I don't know if somebody's not taking care of their children or they're not taking care of their health. There's poor health. We got somebody over here that's not very healthy and it's because they're unwilling to change. They're unwilling to change their ways. This person is very, very stubborn, extremely stubborn. Unenlightened. Hey man reverse, sun reverse. This person is not very enlightened. They're not waking up. They're not, they're not awoken. They're not waking up. They're refusing to wake up. This person has been struggling with, and, and they thrive on competition. This person just is, I don't know, I feel like there's some sort of drama here as well. I feel like, um, mm, there's a battle that is ending with that five of wands reverse. There's a battle that is ending. We have somebody here that... I feel like they're going overboard, honestly. I do. Um, refusing to go in, struggling to let go, struggling to change. Somebody is really dealing with somebody who will not change. This person will not change. There's definitely going to be a completion here. We have three tens. Now we have the ten of cups. And ten, ten, ten is completion, completion, completion. With the wheel of fortune, the ten of wheel of fortune is reversed. Still a ten. This is a shocking, horrendous loss. This past, somebody's past is coming back to haunt them. What they did in the past. Or is there something that happened in the past that is now coming back around to be dealt with? This has to do with a karmic situation that has been ignored. Somebody with the two of swords, it's been ignored. There's been, there's been some sort of missing it. Somebody was wearing a mask. They missed something. They were in denial. They didn't see it. They didn't see the truth. They didn't see the truth. <laughs> some of you are dealing with a Leo for sure. Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. That is happiness. It's a happy family. There could be a reunion here. I feel like there's a, you're in a very tense, tense, tense situation. It has to do with your home. It has to do with your children. It has to do with family. I feel like you are very, very secure, but you're dealing with somebody else that is not. This person is in a dark, depressed state. This person may even be ill. They're refusing to change. Three of Wands, definite decision. We have some, the Three of Wands is, is a departure, okay? It really is. This is traveling, spreading rings, wings, letting go, being ready. This is like, I'm ready to go, bags packed, ready to go. Somebody's leaving, they're going somewhere. It's it, there, There's a relocation, somebody is relocating. They could be relocating to a different state you know this is at a distance there could be a long distance relocation that is coming up four of swords four of swords on the bottom this is definitely i feel like we have somebody here that is sick they are depressed they are ill Okay, I feel like this is somebody that is feeling dead inside. Okay, I 
feel like we have somebody here that needs healing. They may even need a retreat. Somebody may need to go to a retreat or they may need to retreat or they need help or they may need, need to go to the hospital or something like that. We have an individual here that is refusing to learn any lessons. They're not learning any lessons. There's no growth. This is extremely poor health with the Sun card reversed. It really is. This is sadness as well. I feel like there's some sad news here. I hear I hate to say that. I really do. I'm Virgo rising. And that's why I saved you for last. Because I did Taurus first and I did my rising last. So this is very, you know, your rising is really big to watch for you. I mean, you should watch your rising sign. It really is prominent. Um, sadness, dark. You got somebody here that I feel like this person is so stubborn. They will not change and there's no growth. There's no growth. There's, there's lack of healing here, you know. Um, It's almost like can't breathe, suffocating, you know? I feel like we, we have somebody here that is really, really, really struggling. They are struggling. And, I, you know, I'm not sure what is going on, but it, it's not healthy. It's very unhealthy behavior, dealing with somebody that is extremely unhealthy. There is some upcoming travel in the near future, and it is to a different, I feel like it's to a different state. It's, it's, there's distance involved. Somebody's going to be traveling somewhere, maybe with a child. Mm -hmm. Ten of Pentacles right in the middle. That is financial stability, happy home, comfortable home, abundance, right? Comfort, prosperity, headed towards comfortable, headed towards prosperity. There is prosperity here. There is a there is a happy home here. There is. There's a happy, comfortable home here with that Ten of Cups as well. But there's some sort of disillusionment. There is. There's some sort of, I don't know if it's a child or there's children that are, I don't know, there's something going on here with children. That's for darn sure. There's been some sort of denial. Somebody has missed something. Three of Cups reversed, parting ways, dashed expectations, no growth, termination. I don't know if somebody is terminating something. There's a termination, could be a termination of rights, could be parental rights. We did have legal issues, didn't we? We have somebody here that is going overboard. They cannot master their emotions. They are not in a happy place. They're definitely not in a happy place. Three of Cups reversed, Sun card reversed. This person is uh, lonely due to disillusionment. There's disillusion here. This is parting ways. There is going to be a parting ways. Parting of ways from friends or family. Somebody. I feel like we have a separation here. But I feel like it's going, it's interesting because I feel like it's going in your favor. It's it's very interesting because I feel like you, I do, I feel like it's going in your favor. I feel like you're going to be put in a position to decide whether you want to invest in something or not because of that seven of coins. We may have like a dead end here and I've seen that a couple times but I didn't say it. I feel like you're going to be put in a position, you know, whether you want to invest in something that, I don't know, maybe it's ill. Maybe it's ill. Maybe it's sick. Maybe it's, I'm just being honest. Maybe there's somebody here that needs your help. You know, they need healing. They need, they need growth, you know, and they're coming to you for help. Maybe they need to help you. Maybe they need you to help them see the light, you know, to heal, to get them to wherever they need to go. You know what I mean? There's somebody here that needs to focus on their future and they need to go in a new direction. Maybe they need your help, you know? Um, there's going to be an exciting event. Get prepared, okay? Get prepared. I feel like this has to do with uh, your family. 
I'm not sure if it's a good exciting event. I mean, I suppose it could be, but it, it, I'm not sure that it is because that Wheel of Fortune is reversed. That Wheel of Fortune is unfortunate. It is. It's an unfortunate setback or it's an unfortunate loss. It's bad luck or bad news. Um, but then the Ten of Pentacles is in the middle, which is abundance. Family matters. This is definitely family matters. It's a family issue. Traveling a great distance is part of this reading. There's travel involved. Maybe it's with children. I don't know. Going back. Or somebody's leaving and they're coming to you. There's definitely travel and this is long distance travel. So it's... And I feel like it does have to do with a child or children. Children. Queen of Swords in reversed on the bottom. There's a woman here. There is a woman here that is wrecking havoc. This woman is uh, doing something. I don't know if she's doing something malicious or she's doing something out of context or she's bitter, she's angry, she's resentful, um, alone, feeling very alone, um, unforgiving, not very, not using much logic. We may have somebody here that is very, very insecure, that is... Uh, not thinking about anybody but themselves and they're doing something cruel. This person may need counseling, but they refuse to get counseling. Not very logical. We have somebody here that's not that's doing something that isn't logical. Not very smart. They're in their emotions. They're in their emotions. They can't master their emotions and they're going to be causing some sort of... They're the ones that are causing this event. There could be somebody here that is a perfectionist, you know, and they... And they uh, had a setback and they take it to extremes there is some sort of extreme behavior here we have somebody here that's extremely unhealthy that is obsessed with control we have a control freak hangman reverse this person is obsessed with control their expectations have been dashed you know and there's going to be a parting of ways and it could be a termination of i feel like it's of rights i don't know if somebody's losing their ch their rights or, their, or something to do with children i, mean, I don't know reverse this a conflict is ending and I feel like you're gonna be reluctant to get involved with this you probably don't want to get involved with this five of wands reverse is reluctant but that's it that's on their side so I feel like yeah you're gonna be thinking about it should I should I even get involved in this should I tough decision um We definitely have an unhealthy person here. This person is extremely unhealthy. There's no growth. Three of Cups reverse, sun, sun card reverse. It's on their side. It's not you. You're stable. You're solid. You're secure. You are. It's not you. We got somebody here that is obsessed with control. It has to do with children. There's a lack of growth. It's a very unhealthy relationship. You may have somebody here that just doesn't like your children or it could go or something like that. There's going to be a departure. There's going to be a departure. Somebody is going somewhere. There is an unfortunate loss here. There is some sort of unfortunate setback. There's been denial. I think that you were ignoring something or you were dealing with somebody else that didn't see something. I feel like, well, obviously there's going to be an event. that changes your living circumstances in some way. Good luck. 